Glam Home. Well, today I'm doing another episode from my Fall in Love with Fall series, and this time I'm doing a DIY cozy coffee bar. I hope you enjoy. Now, I recently picked up this wrought iron coffee mug holder that goes on your wall. I picked it up off Amazon, guys, and I'll leave it linked down below. Now, I placed it on my wall and added my Ray Dunn inspired coffee mugs as well as some flowers. And as much as I liked it, I just wasn't feeling it, guys. So I really wanted to add a different look to the style. Now I had some leftover shiplap panels guys from my DIY where I did a shiplap wall behind my dining room. Now what I'm going to do here guys is with the help of my hubby we're going to cut it to size where we're going to put two pieces on top of one another to cover the entire wall. just hammering the very first panel in place. Now we chose just to use small nails guys that we just hammered into the wall but we previously used a liquid nails on the back as well so if you feel more comfortable using that I recommend that as well. Now my husband took the second piece and he's measuring that up as well and cutting it to size. Now the beauty about these panels from Bunnings guys is that they just click into each other. So you'll see in a moment that he'll just add it to the top and it will click into the bottom one. secured everything in place he then went in with this product which is called no more gaps now if you have small gaps in your projects guys my husband likes to add this at the edges to give a really crisp clean look before we start painting started painting and we used the colour Dulux Vivid White. It's such a crisp clean colour. This is the first coat but we ended up going in with three coats. dry my hubby went in and put in the screws that was required to hang up my mug rack again. Now we'd actually run out of our wall colour which is called Puppy by Dulux and we wanted to touch up the lines to give a crisp clean look so I had to wait to the following day guys to get some paint. Now 
I also decided to do a little DIY on this drinks trolley that I picked up last year from Kmart. Now guys, it was originally black and I spray painted it gold, but I've decided to take it back to black today. So I'm just gonna take it outside and give it two coats of matte black by Julux. Now, there's two glass shelves that go on this trolley. I already did a DIY where I covered one in some marble contact paper. But today, guys, I want to give it a more rustic feel. So I had some contact paper, which is from Bunnings, that has that wood grain effect. And I covered it straight over the top of the marble contact paper. Now once we got our wall paint, my hubby went back in and touched up and give it a crisp clean line. Now while it was drying, I picked out my Ray Dunn inspired mugs as well as this leopard print mug that I recently picked up from Etsy. As well as picking out some extra decor to style on the drinks trolley. Now, I absolutely love this adorable little Shih Tzu figurine, which reminded me so much of my sweet little Shih Tzu Bella. I then started to style my mug rack. Just let go, lose control, play songs on the radio too loud. This could be magical. I had so much fun styling this little drinks trolley. I love putting together different ideas and I cannot wait to style this for Christmas. I can't tell you how excited I was to finish this little project, this little corner of my home. I love the fact that I've already done the DIY shiplap wall behind my dining room table and I felt that this went perfectly with it, as well as my DIY barn door on my pantry door. I love that this area of my home all flows together. A 
big shout out has to go to my handsome hubby guys. He always brings my visions to life. He truly is a champion. I could not have done this project without him. So thank you so much for watching guys. I truly hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope I've inspired you in some small way when it comes to decorating your coffee bar. So don't forget guys to like, share and subscribe to my channel because I'll be back real soon with more DIY projects, inspirational ideas and room tours here at Shell's Glam Home. So until next time my friends, I thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.